Hey, I'm Andy Allidort, and in this edition of History of Rock, we're going to take a look at the band that gave us three of the greatest rock guitar players of all time, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page. And that band is the Yardbirds. Although the first impact of the British invasion on American popular music was through beat music, or Mercy Beat, nicknames the Brits used for American-style rock and roll and rhythm and blues. The second wave of bands drew their inspiration from American blues, prime examples being the Rolling Stones and the Oddbirds. The Rolling Stones built their early reputation on recreating Chicago-style electric blues, performing as the house band at the Crawdaddy Club in Richmond. As their popularity and geek schedule grew, their Crawdaddy residency was taken over by the Yardbirds, whose repertoire drew on the Chicago blues of Howlin' Wolf, Muddy Waters, Bo Diddley, Sonny Boy Williamson, and Elmore James. When original Yardbirds lead guitarist Top Topham left in October of 1963, he was replaced by Eric Clapton. The band recorded their first disc at the Marquee Club on March 20, 1964 titled Five Live Yardbird. It was released at the end of the year. In May of 1964, the band released their first single, I Wish You Would, back with A Certain Girl. Both covers, I Wish You Would, is by blues musician Billy Boy Arnold, and A Certain Girl is by New Orleans legend Alan Toussaint, released by Ernie K. Doe in 1961. The band's next single showed off guitar player Eric Clapton's prodigious talents a little more. I Ain't Got You was a song that was also recorded by Billy Boy Arnold. The song was the B-side of the Good Morning Little School Girl single. The Yardbirds' first big hit was For Your Love, which hit the top of the charts in the UK and Canada and reached number six in the United States. Clapton hated the song and quit the band the very day of its release, March 25th, 1965. Clapton recommended Jimmy Page as his replacement, but content with session work, Page recommended Jeff Beck, who joined the Yardbirds just two days after Clapton quit. Heart Full of Soul, released in June of 1965, featured Jeff's incredible fuzz tone telecaster as he placed his indelible stamp and personality on the band's music from that day forward. The band's next album, having a rave up with the Yardbirds from November 65, combined studio and live material and features both Clapton and Beck. Shapes of Things, released in February of 66, is a perfect example of the way the Yardbirds combine blues and Middle Eastern influences with the sound of British pop. Jeff's incredible solo on this tune is totally unique and exhibited an edge and sense of adventurousness that have become earmarks of his style. Some regard this track as the first psychedelic rock song ever recorded.
Following the release of the Roger the Engineer album in June of 66, original bassist Paul Samuel Smith quit the band and was briefly replaced on bass by Jimmy Page. Soon guitarists Chris Dreha and Page switched instruments and the Oddbirds had a two guitar front line of Jeff Beck and Jimmy Page. You can hear both guitarists on the band's next single, Happenings 10 Years Time Ago, which was released in the U.S. on November 4th, 1966. Just weeks before Page joined the Yardbirds, Beck and Page recorded Beck's Bolero in May of 66. The track included later on Jeff Beck's first solo album, Truth, included John Paul Jones on bass, Keith Moon on drums, and Nicky Hopp on the top piano. In November 66, Jeff quit the band, leaving Jimmy Page the sole guitar player. By summer of 68, original Yardbirds singer Keith Ralph and drummer Jim McCarty quit and were replaced by two unknowns, singer Robert Plant, and his friend, drummer, John Bonham. Bassist Chris Dreha soon quit as well to be replaced by Page's session work friend, John Paul Jones. New Quartet continued to play as the Yardbirds, and then the New Yardbirds through 68, but by mid-October they changed their name to Led Zeppelin. And that's a story for another episode. For History of Rock, I'm Andy Oliver. <laughs>